What's up guys, JV2017 here bringing you another daily Destiny tips and tricks video and today we're looking at a preview of an exciting new patch that Bungie is pushing out next week. Since everyone in the Destiny community has pretty much been voicing their concerns and complaints about the Crypt Arc, Bungie is actually making a difference here. So we're going to look at some screenshots of the patch notes in this video. However, I will leave a link to them in the description if you guys are interested in just reading it for yourselves as well. So the first little bit of information we have here, the 1.0.2 patch will go live next week and include several changes to the Cryptarch and Engram experience. These changes guarantee that Engrams will always decode into items at or above the quality of an Engram. That's amazing. Only engrams that drop after 1.0.2 are subject subject to this change, excuse me. So that's an important point, I'll get to that in a little bit. Cryptarch changes. Cade 6 took the Cryptarch aside and showed him a sack of doorknobs. He decoded that mystery pretty quickly. Legendary engrams will always produce legendary or better quality items, including materials or exotics. Rare engrams will always produce rare or better quality items and rare engrams will have an increased chance to produce legendary quality items. So this is all very good news, incredibly good news. Basically this means whatever engram you get, if you get a legendary engram, you're guaranteed a legendary item, it doesn't matter. But that also includes materials or exotics, or not, not like exotics is a bad thing, but materials might be a bad thing for you if you don't have a lot of legendaries, but uh, the rare engrams will always produce rare, which is awesome, and then they'll have an increased chance to produce legendary. Before, I think it was like 7 or 8% for a rare to turn into a legendary. That number will be bumped up as well. Very exciting news, I know, for a lot of you guys. So the next little thing we have here is activity changes. Daily heroics, weekly heroics, and Vanguard Tiger playlist activities will include rare and legendary engrams in addition to their existing rewards. So I think that means at the end of the mission, you will be rewarded these things, not uh, during the mission. I think if it was during the mission, they'd say there'd be an increased drop chance, but I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Basically, this means that if you participate in the Daily Heroics, Weekly Heroics, or Vanguard Tiger playlist, you will have an increased chance of getting these things than it was before, which is always a good thing. Item changes. Ascendant materials have been promoted to legendary to closer associate them with the gear they are used to upgrade. So normally uh, these things kind of have a rare uh, classification under this, under Destiny's classification system. You have whites, you have greens, which are called uncommon. You have blues or rare, legendary purple, yellow exotic. So that means instead of being kind of rare, you know, Ascendant shards and Ascendant energy, they're going to be classified as legendary, which makes sense. That, that just seems like an obvious change. And then item changes, or we already did that. Legendary engram items that exist in your inventory will be demoted to rare quality when the patch goes live. So decode them while you can. But let's be honest, even if you don't, we all know they were blues already. Ha 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 ha. Anyways, basically, if you have any legendary engrams, don't like stack them up and be like, oh, I'm gonna get all the legendaries after this update. Don't do that. Just decode them now because they will turn into rares and you'll have a lesser chance of getting an, a uh, legendary if you keep them because they'll turn into rares. So anyways, guys, I hope this helped you all out. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's your number one destination for Destiny content. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you all next time. Peace!